Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day at Tamar Queens. I'm in the state of Terengganu on the east coast of Malaysia. And this is a state that's really known for its authentic Malay food. And so today I'm gonna meet up with my friend Pet. He's gonna take us on a Malaysian food tour of Terengganu. It's 7.30 a.m. We are beginning for breakfast with one of the dishes. Okay, this is a dish that if you visit, you have not visited Terengganu unless you've eaten this dish. If most Malaysians think about Terengganu, this is the single dish that they think of. And we're gonna eat it for breakfast right now. Mr. Okay. Pet. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Thank awesome. You. How are you? Very good, very good. He is a chef. Yeah. We've already hung out with him last night and you can just see his passion for food. He loves to eat, he loves to hang out. So it's gonna be a lot of fun today. And the, the dish that we're starting with for breakfast, this is yeah. one of the most important dishes in Terengganu State, right? Yeah. And this is uh, the Nasi Dagang. Nasi Dagang. Uh, what is the name of this restaurant that we're at? This, this restaurant is called uh, Nasi Dagang Atastol. Atastol. Yeah. And this is that's this area, this village is called yeah. Atastol? This is really called Atastol. This place is incredible. The production, the, the smells and aromas, the sights. They, they have Nasi Dagang, which is the main dish, which is coconut rice with a fish curry. I believe a tuna curry. Yep. And then they also have a number of other dishes. They have a fried noodle dish, they have rice with what looks like an entire, glutinous with rice with an entire just pile of shredded coconut on top. They have a yellow glutinous rice, again with fish curry. So in order to make that tea, what they do is they, they pour it from a bucket to another bucket from a very high elevation, like he reaches to the tops of his arms and pours it. So it's got some elevation um, and that creates the suds, but it's also mixed with uh, honey, which makes it so sudsy. Uh, yeah, he is the suds master. And this is, this is tetarik, yeah. but with honey? Is yeah. it because of honey? Wow. <laughs> And the nasi lemak. Terima kasih. Hot. Okay. Oh wow! Oh wow! You can't even see me behind this mountain of froth. Let me part the part the froth. But another, along with the nasi dagang and other dishes, one of the most famous things to have here is their tea. So normally tetarik in Malaysia, it's gonna be just a normal like a little bit of suds, but it's a normal milk tea but this is like the, the bubble bath of all milk teas. It's just suds overload. It's exploding with suds because of the honey. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's ice in it too. Yeah. Okay, so you gotta take some of the foam. Look at that. It's suds. That really could be a bubble bath. Yeah, it is very sweet. But it is pretty good though. It's, it's like a honey sweetness. Yeah. And then you Not taste so the sweet. strong, you taste the strong tea in there too. Yeah, yeah. And then very milky. That just dissolves in your mouth, yeah, like like suds would. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Take a sip. Wow. Oh, you know what? The suds are more sweet than the, the actual tea down below. Yeah, I think so. We're gonna set the suds aside. So nasi dagang is like the national dish of Terengganu, the state of Terengganu. Uh, the rice, I believe, is cooked with coconut milk. Yeah, coconut milk. And, and you can see the little spice, which is uh, fenugreek, fenugreek, right? Fenugreek, yes. And then it always comes with the curry as well yeah. on the side. Yeah. Which is like not only like a little bowl of curry, but that's like a full bowl of curry with a uh, fish head. Fish head. And that's also tuna? That's also tuna. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh look at the Shani color hoyo. of that. Oh, awesome. That is beautiful. You must eat with this. Terima kasih. The egg. All right. Okay, so I want to get a little bit of the, a little bit of the fish. Careful with the bones. Okay. A little bit of the fish. Mix it with the sauce, and mix some with the pickle as well. Pickle, yeah. Okay, cool. Then chili. you get every. The I'll chili. get the chili. I'll go for green chili this bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's incredible. I think the rice, 70% is jasmine rice, and 30% is glutinous rice. Ah. They mix it. Because it does have a unique texture. Yeah, yeah. 
a little stickier than just yeah. regular rice. Regular rice. You do taste the, the richness of the coconut milk and a little bit of that fenugreek. fenugreek. Curry is a little bit sweet, but spicy and just like full of flavor. Of it complements the rice so well. You can eat a chili per bite. That's what I like. That is incredible. Awesome. And the whole combination, yeah? Yeah. What is the name of this dish? Uh, we call it uh, pulut gaul nyo. Glutinous rice mixed with the coconut, uh, chef coconut. Ah. With the salted fish on the side. Yes. Grab a little bit of the salted fish, which I think is also fried. Grab a little bit of that. Mix it with some of the coconut sticky rice. So soft. Oh yeah. It's very, very soft and very like sticky, kind of oily. I love just that shredded coconut. Mm. Oh, like the the smokiness of it. Yeah. Is that coming from the coconut? I think uh, it's come from the the rice. You've got just the shredded coconut, which just tastes. It's a very mature coconut. Um, that almost it's like lightly sweet. Yeah. But just like very very rich, and then the, the sticky rice is very. Glutinous-y, very gooey, very gooey, very <laughs> sticky. Yeah, it's a coconut lover's dream right there. What's the name of this one? Pulut kuning. Pulut kuning. Yes. Uh, glutinous rice with the yellow coloring. Is it, is it turmeric? Yeah, turmeric. Yeah. Ah, okay. Oh wow. You rehydrate. <laughs> <laughs> rehydrate with chilies and just beautiful curry. Go in. Oh, that chili with some of the the sticky rice. You can really taste the the like strong taste of the tuna. The tuna really stands out. And tuna is of course a little bit of a dry fish. Then with that version it's also really good because the, the sticky rice sort of absorbs the curry. I really do love how you can you can actually have one chili per bite here. <laughs> Madness. Another thing that's very famous is the fried fish cakes in Taranganu and they're served kind of like um <laughs> Hello. It's called Karepo Leko. The owner gave us a plate, so we gotta try it. Mmm. Mmm. You taste the fish, but it's kind of like spongy and gooey all at the same time, and then fried. Mm. Very good. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Number one. Sit up. Sit up. <laughs> 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 Hanging out, chatting, having breakfast. Not only the food, but the like, this is like a community gathering for the entire village. It's packed right now. The line is now stretching down the road. Everything is incredibly good, but I gotta move back for the sticky rice and the fish. This is a dish that's so, tastes like so simple, yet it's actually not simple, and it's actually like complex to make. Um, but like the flavors are simple, but the taste is just so complex. Oh, and even you see the bottom of the rice there, that like golden, golden bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sample that. And you want to use that sticky rice to just like cake up some of that, some of that coconut. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Number one. Number one. Number one. <laughs> okay, and then the final dish that we got that I almost forgot about because of all the all the action around here and all the different delicious food is the nasi lemak. Um, and nasi lemak is one of the national dishes of Malaysia, but and you'll find it across Malaysia. But this is the specific Terengganu version. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy, just ultra flavorful though. And then you've got the crunchy little ikan bilis, which are the fried anchovies. Okay, you gotta see this. I, I put, I, I, I put the camera to get a shot of me um, bringing the tea back to me. But look what happened. Let me do a selfie, a selfie camera. Can you see that on my microphone? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's foam. There will forever be foam on my microphone. That is a lot of tea. It's very sweet, but it's so refreshing. And then it, it just like feels right. It almost feels like you're at a carnival at this restaurant. There's kids running around. It's just packed. It's like you're at a market, but this is just a single restaurant. Okay, and that completes nasi dagang for breakfast. One of the ultimate dishes to eat in Terengaru, in the state of Terengaru in Malaysia. It's an amazing place and an amazing community. We'll follow you? Yeah. Okay. 
pet said we're gonna go to a market now, so we're following them and we'll see what's at the market. Well, we're on our way there now. Looks like we're heading a little way inland. What's the name of the market that we're going to? Uh, the name is the Pasar Mani. Pasar Mani. Yeah, for English, uh, it's called Mani Market. It's an everyday market in the village, but on the weekends, it's even bigger, and I think there's more things to eat and to see. I thought it's the traditional food. Uh, there's a mix of everything. There's food to eat, there's uh, lots of ingredients, there's uh, stinky beans, one of my favorite things to eat, a lot of herbs and coconuts, and oh, and you get the aroma of durian as well. <laughs> oh, that's the fruit. Yeah. That's the sour this, fruit. Yeah. That was yes. in the, that was in the, the curry. nasi dagang yeah. curry. And this one is very traditional food from here. Oh, kind of like and a sweet sticky. snack, sweet and yeah, sticky snack. Yeah, yeah. And you can really smell the shallots on there, so it should be like, yeah. that's an interesting, Wow, very right. fragrant with the yeah. shots. Okay. Mm. It's a sweet, but it's also like a like a bread almost. That's right. yeah. It's very sticky, yeah. very gooey. And then the fragrant shallots on it. Ropa. 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 Yeah. It's a fried pancake. Ah. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Oh, Angie is so friendly. She gave us all, she just handed us all one and then the table almost flipped over. <laughs> we call it La de Solo. Ah. La de Solo. Mm. It's like a fish spring roll, but you really taste the onions, which are like really sweet and juicy in there. That's wonderful. Like a sweet onion fish spring roll. A huge terimakasi. She is, she, she, Auntie is so friendly. Uh, literally, we just, we walked past and she just handed us one. Oh, I'm loving this market and the different like jungle ingredients. Oh, what are those? Namu namu. Namu namu. You call it namu namu? Uh, in Malaysia, we call it nam nam. Yeah, like. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you have to kind of squeeze yeah. it. Yeah, squeeze it. Then, oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, it's cool. Okay, just eat. This is great. Okay, just cool. Eat. Yeah. And eat the just skin and everything. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh wow! It's like a pear. Oh. Yeah, the texture is yeah. like it's a, pear. a pear. It's like a pear, but more sour. This one is tapai pulut. Tapai pulut. Oh, the yeah. rubber tree yeah. leaves. And so there's little right, sticky rice in yeah. here inside of each yeah. little. That's a fermented, little, little. fermented, fermented rice. sticky rice. It's thick. <laughs> ah, so it's like one bite per leaf. Yeah. yeah. It's fermented glutinous rice. Um, and you pick up a little packet, and it's like an entire little packet of leaves. It looks like a, a pile of leaves. Pet said those are wrapped in rubber tree leaves. And then you just eat. Oh. Hey, I always see you on your YouTube. Just slightly fermented, so it has a bit of a like a bit of a sour taste. Yeah. More sweet. Yeah. yeah. Sweet and sour, but really juicy. And I just love how it's served in a whole little like bouquet of rubber leaves. <laughs> Packed now, more and more people are coming. It's kind of single file, but it's such a fun market. People are so friendly. There's so much food to eat, uh, to eat on spot, and then also to take away and um, ingredients to then cook. This is putu bamboo. Ah, putu bamboo. Yeah, the white, the, uh, the original, then is a panda. Ah, uh, with the green. That's sugar. Yeah. Brown sugar. Uh, she puts in the rice flour powder, uh, which is kind of like, it's kind of like crumbly. She stuffs that in first, um, then she pokes it down with the sticks and makes a little hole. Then she fills it with like a whole handful of palm sugar, and then she puts more of the rice uh, flour on top of it. Then they steam until fully cooked. When that batch is ready, they take them off um, with another stick. They poke it out so a little sausage-like shape of rice and palm sugar comes out. And then they finish it off with a big handful of shredded coconut and a sprinkle of sugar. And it's so steaming, it's so hot, it's so it's so freshly cooked. Mm. Oh, that's great. It's kind of crumbly. It's kind of dry, but that's how it's supposed to be. But you taste the sweetness of both the coconut 
and the palm sugar. And then it's like light and fluffy. The coconut is amazing. She said her family has been making it for three generations. Her, her father and her grandfather started making this. Mm. Yeah, it's like dry and crumbly. This market is fantastic. It's bustling and busy, yet like friendly and calm and countryside all at the same time. It's wonderful. Cassava, it looks like it's boiled cassava um, and then with sugar and coconut. Mm. Kind of salty, kind of sweet. Coconut, oh, very good. Terimakazu. What do they make of eel? We're in a bit of a traffic jam here now. It's packed. Vendors are just joking as we walk through the line, and and yeah, it's just a friendly atmosphere. It's like it's it's a big community here. Kerenganu is really made comprised of a lot of small villages, um, and so it really has a community feel. It's very friendly. This is great. I'm just loving the the traffic jam. Just walking through and just absorbing the market, the culture, the food. Saro ikan. Yeah. And so they, they stuff, make it with coconut. Same put thing, it yeah, the fish uh, and the coconut. This was just a complete impulse purchase. I just saw it walking past, but it's just so cool that I had to try it. And normally it would be you would buy this, take it home and eat it with rice. Uh, but we're just gonna try it as is. It's the fish, which like the whole body is uh, deboned and mixed with coconut and then reformed, reshaped into like a, a swollen, larger size of that same fish. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. Sit up. Sit up. <laughs> you crunch the coconut, and it's so like refreshing with the gun coconut. You, yeah, as you bite down, you get like coconut milk squeezing into your mouth. The little like slivers of fish, which are pretty like finely pounded. Oh man, that's delicious. And just that like sambal chili sauce on the outside coating it. That is really superb. The coconut and the presentation. I love that presentation. You cannot get any more pretty than a fish hollowed out, mixed with spices and coconut and sambal and then refilled back into its its bone structure. That was so incredibly good. I completely lost track of the entire market and I didn't even realize it started raining pretty hard right now as I was taking that bite. Uh, but anyway, we're waiting out the rain a little bit. I don't think it will last too long. The rain has just stopped for a minute, uh, but before we leave the market, there's one more thing that we were not gonna leave without having. That's a cream cigar. That is so incredibly fragrant. It's so pungent. It's it, we're feeling with my fingers. It's so creamy and custardy. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that was a that was a foul. That's, that's how like mushy and and just like custardy it is. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that is a that is a smelly one. <laughs> oh, I drip. Yeah, that's pungent, slightly bitter, very sweet, so custardy and creamy. It's, I mean, it's not called the king of fruits without a reason. We drove into the center of Kuala Terengganu and there's a restaurant that serves a dish called nasi budu. And budu is the fish sauce, fermented fish sauce. Nasi is rice. Uh, so it's a mix of dishes. You choose your different dishes. Um, and a lot of people also choose some of the ikan bakar, the grilled fish, and then eat it with the budu fermented fish sauce. So I'm gonna go through the line. I might get a little, just a few different dishes, but mainly I wanna taste that fermented fish sauce to go with the rice. But in the meantime, uh, Pet was also gathering some other ingredients, some more grilled fish, some vegetables, some onions, a soup, and he got like a bottle of the voodoo, the fermented fish sauce. He said he's gonna mix the sauce. I think it's all like kind of self-service. You gotta mix it yourself. Let's break it. Okay, break the chili. 
And that's the sauce. That's the sauce. Oh yeah, it's really good. That's a wonderful, like fishy, wonderful sauce. We also got another sauce, the fermented durian, tempoyak. They have these little tubes of the tempoyak, which is fermented durian. I'm gonna dump one onto the, the plate here. Oh, you can smell that aroma. Some of the budu sauce onto the fermented durian. There we go, mix that around. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So we've got fermented durian with fermented fish. Fermented call fish sauce. one fermented fish sauce. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> That's like fermentation on top of fermentation on top of things that are already pungent. This is a fish that's stuffed with sambal. So I'll take a piece of the fish and I'll take some of the the budu and put it on top of that. And it has like a red color too. Yeah. The budu, the chilies, and the onions. Okay, mix in with that fish. Mix in with that fish with the, the budu. I want to get that chili in this bite. Some onions. Mix that all with your rice. The umami. Oh, that chili. And to me, the budu is not overpowering. It's like well, well balanced and well like a harmony of flavor. It's not like overpowering and fishiness. And I also couldn't resist the sambal eggplant. Mm. It's so creamy. It tastes a little bit of the shrimp paste. We got some more little tubs of the tempoyak that need to be eaten. Oh, yes. And then I'm gonna drizzle that in some budu. Oh, this is the ultimate flavor. I, I don't know if you can possibly get more flavor per like, per condiment, per bite. A little bit of rice to wrap it all together. To just hold it together. Oh, wow. It is extraordinary. It's like reaching new levels that your taste buds never thought existed. I think Ma is crazy about Oya. <laughs> I think he should invent a new recipe. <laughs> Once you have fermented durian, tempoyak, and fermented anchovy fish sauce, budu, then mixed together, I don't know if there's any other condiment or any other vegetable dip that will possibly be as, like, powerful of a flavor. No other condiment will do. We're now moving on. We're gonna have one last meal, which is gonna be on the beach, on the ocean, uh, for some fried seafood. about a 15 minute drive from the center of the city out to the beach, we're right along the ocean. There's a seafood restaurant that we're gonna eat at. A lot of, I, I know they specialize in some fried seafood, but the ocean breeze, the view, this is beautiful, this is spectacular. Seafood, seafood. restaurant? Yeah, restaurant. Warung Pak. Pak Nang. Yeah, Pak Nang. It's a uh, better seafood. Step inside of this restaurant and it's just like a, a covering right across the street from the beach. It's packed here. It's, this is a local favorite spot for seafood. Hello. All sorts of different seafood here, but squid is squid one of the, is most, the most famous. Most famous. Yeah. Like, nobody comes here without ordering the yeah, squid, yeah, right? Yeah. You have to order the squid. So they're cleaning up the squid here. The size of the squid. Yeah, that's beautiful squid. We're gonna move over to see the deep frying station, which is, you can hear the, the raging jet engine flames that they are deep frying. And those are massive blocks full of oil on a raging hot jet, like jet engine fire flame. out of the oil 
onto a big platter, onto your plate, served to your table. It's piping hot, it's freshly fried. It looks incredibly crispy. Almost 100 kilo per day for squid only. Wow, wow. Only the squid, that's not even counting the fish and the shrimp. Wow, awesome. Ma, we have eggs in here. Squid with eggs, amazing. That will be fried, that's like... Oh, this one is the fish. Yeah. Oh, so you chop it up. Chef pet. We got like a dozen plates of fried seafood. Just like ultra crispy battered seafood over blazed in a hot oil wok. Uh, pet is now, they, it's all like self-service so you they give you some scissors, you just chop it up. Uh, we got some squid with eggs in it, so there's eggs also to try. Oh, this one is actually yeah. filled with eggs, right? Yeah. And actually, I didn't know this beforehand, but somebody mentioned to me in the restaurant, they said, did you make a booking? Because you gotta make a booking because it, it's so packed in here to reserve your seafood. Pet did make a booking yesterday. Yeah. So thank yesterday. you to the man, Pet. Most um, welcome. And we're about to dig in. We gotta try some of those squid eggs first. First bite. <laughs> The eggs are, are rich and almost like yeah. like mung bean noodle. Mm. Mm. And then that yeah. is really crispy. Mm. Try the squid. Okay, try the squid. <laughs> oh, it's so juicy on the inside still. Whoa. So juicy, and the eggs just make it like juicier. Oh, nice. Mm. The squid itself is excellent. Like slightly chewy, really fresh. Slightly sweet. Slightly sweet, naturally. Yeah, that's right. And then the sauce is kind of like tangy. These are pretty decent sized Whoa. shrimp. Um, again, just coated and battered and deep fried. I think you peel the head back, but then pretty much you can eat the, the other part, the body, and maybe the shell because it's so crispy deep fried. Yeah. To peel back the head. You can give it. Okay. Double sided? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna want to double dip that. <laughs> on all sides and I think part of the reason like the 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 deep fried batter is almost kind of like hairy is so it like absorbs oh, yeah. more sauce yeah, put it cheers, cheers. <laughs> okay shrimp is amazing that's awesome yeah. Yeah. again crispy in every dimension possible and just that flavor of the shrimp and the freshness and finally the fish. Yeah, the fish. You can. You can. Break into the fish, it's still hot. All that heat like is from the deep frying is still, the heat has absorbed all the way to the inside of that fish. Actually, there's just three seafoods, right? Yeah. Fish, fish, squid, shrimp. Shrimp, yeah. And everybody orders everything. <laughs> okay, go. Really hearty, really meaty. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Coconut water. <sighs> Sweet, slightly sour, natural, just refreshing. My favorite part of the squid is the head and those tentacles. Oh, yes. Is that a one biter? I don't think that's a one biter. That's a beauty, though. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm. I do still have this from the market. Let's see how this combines for a couple of bites. We had tempoyak for lunch, uh, but we also bought some tempoyak at the market this morning, and we thought this might be the perfect opportunity to, because like I said at the last restaurant, once you start eating tempoyak, no other condiment, no other dip will do. And Pet has started eating some tempoyak at the seafood too. It's good. <laughs> yes. Dude. <laughs> Some batter chunks. Get a half and half ratio going on there. That looks like, it looks almost like butter and jam. <laughs> but that's like about as opposite as possible to butter and jam. We're all gonna take one final tempoyak bite and that's mixed with that sweet sambal. Kinda ooze it around. I'm gonna do a little scooper. Make this bite count. 
<laughs> That's not the first time I've dropped some tempoyak on my lap. Oozing and gushy and just so pungently powerful. Once you start eating fermented durian dip, there's just no way to go back to, to ranch. <laughs> there's no way to go back to another dip. Yeah, any dressing. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Final bite, cheers. Tempoyak cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs> That's just like game over in terms of flavor <laughs> overload. Every single bite of tempoyak is a bite of joy and shock at the same time. That was just crunchy snacking on the next level, seafood snacking. People have been so friendly, so welcoming, so hospitable on the east coast of Malaysia, Terengganu. It's been an amazing day. The food has been delicious, but the people have really stood out. And I'll have all the information, all the dishes we ate, all the food we ate, all the restaurants in the description box below so you can check them all out. Uh, I wanna say a huge thank you to Pet who's been showing us around this entire day and everyone else that we met, all of our friends who showed us around. I wanna say a huge thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click that little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. And also be sure to check out my entire playlist from this entire trip to Malaysia. Uh, there's a lot of incredibly delicious food that you don't wanna miss. And so I'll have that linked below. Good. Goodbye from Terengganu. See you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.